Hi, Todd McKinnon, Automation Specialist with Werner Electric Supply. Welcome to our Automation Learning Series. In this series, we'll bring you the latest automation technologies, products, and how-to videos. All right, I'm going to go and try and cover setting up a Rockwell Automation Stratix 5700 switch uh, by scratch, just using the Express setup for the switch. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to power on your Stratix 5700 switch and take out a paper clip. You're going to use the paper clip as your tool to start your Express setup. What you're going to do is you're going to press the paper clip in that little hole where it says Express Setup. Just press it in shortly and then release it. And what's going to happen is you'll see the status light blinking, EIP mod light will be blinking green, and it will also have most likely this port 1 will be blinking as well. So what you're going to do is you're going to have your laptop um, or your computer and plug your Ethernet port from your computer into port 1. Now the Stratix 5700 switch can function as a DACP server, so as long as your Ethernet port on your laptop or computer is set for DHCP, the Stratix 5700 will then give your computer an IP address, and that's how we're going to go and configure the Express setup. So now if I just do an IP config from a DOS prompt, it should tell me what it's given my Ethernet address, which is 169.254.0.2 is my laptop's IP address. So all I need to do now is open up a web browser. I'll just use Chrome. Type in 169.254.0.1 and it should bring up the web page to start the Express setup for the switch. Um, typically the username and, and the password for the default switch is just going to be switch um, with just a blank login. Sometimes that one will pop up. Um, I'm going to start out, I will give this a host name. Let's call it whatever I want and give the switch an IP address. If you're going to be able to use the switch and put it into your Oh, your I.O. tree for your control logics, compact logics application, things like that. It's going to want to, you're going to want to have a specific IP address for the switch. Um, also, once you're done with this express setup, if you ever want to just make some configuration changes, you will do that just going into the web browser and putting in the IP address you've just assigned it. And log in as your admin and I'm going to put switch as the password here and then I'm just going to submit this. So now at this point the switch is essentially configured. Give it an IP address and now it's this is the configuration web page for the switch. So you can see I'm plugged into port 1 here. Um, it'll tell me just by looking at this what the status is of the switch and once it's running you can always just go into a web browser and type in the IP address that you've just assigned it and look at some of the status information as well as configure it. Um, some additional things you might want to configure the switch to do you may want to configure some smart ports. By running the express setup, which we just did, um, I've already set the switch up to have IGMP snooping enabled by default. Um, I can go into my smart ports. My smart ports are just the ports that are on my switch. And the one that you probably should configure in these is if you're going to have another Ethernet switch that this is plugged into, you probably want to put the, that port set 
as a switch for automation just so that it knows if it sees multiple MAC addresses coming into port 2 that that's because it's hooked up to a switch. It'll still work even if it's not set up, but it'll work most efficiently this way. Um, and then save that if that's a port that you're going to be using. And other than that, um, you can set up a bunch of different things. You can set up multiple VLANs if you'd like. You can, depending on which version of the Stratix 5700 you have, you can set up port persistence so that anything plugged into a certain port, I give it a certain IP address. But for most automation, all the average guy sets up is, he just runs the express setup, has it set for IGMP snooping, and then maybe sets up the smart ports and um, that's those are the main things that you're going to use with the switch. Um, the Stratix 5700 if you're using a compact logix control logix you can put the Stratix 5700 in your IO configuration for your processor and then monitor a number of different status settings of the switch health, thresholds, things like that. So that's something that if you're using a control logic, compact logics, you uh, might want to do. For more information, contact your local Werner Electric representative. Be sure to check out our Werner Electric YouTube channel for more videos for our automation learning series.